Hello and welcome to this video on using the determinant of a matrix to find the rank of that matrix. Now this is following up a video I just made about identifying the rank of a matrix, so I'm assuming you know what the rank of a matrix is at least. Remember the rank of a matrix is the number of linearly independent columns or linearly independent rows of that matrix because those will be the same number. Um, and one way that we saw in the last video, again if you've been watching, one way that we saw to find the rank of a matrix was to put that matrix in either echelon form or row echelon form or reduced echelon form, right, or reduced row echelon form and just count how many pivot columns it has or how many pivot rows it has and that'll be the rank. Um, so in this video we're just going to see just another way, an alternate method for finding the rank of a matrix and this will involve finding the determinants of sub-matrices or what are called, you know, these determinants of sub-matrices are, are called the minors of a matrix. So I'm starting off here by defining what, I'm, what I mean by minors of a matrix. Okay. So a minor of order k of an m by n matrix A. All right, so suppose we're given an m by n matrix A, right? M rows, n columns. And I said, find, find, give me some minors of order k. Well, a minor of order k is the determinant of a k by k submatrix of matrix A. Now what do I mean by submatrix? Alright, because you know, remember you, in order to find the, deter you know, you could only find determinants of square matrices, right? That's why this is k by k here, square. You know, what if this isn't a square matrix? Um, well, how, you form submatrices of a matrix by just simply removing entire rows and or entire columns of the matrix uh, until you get down to a square matrix. And I'll show you, obviously, examples as we go through. Okay, so the rank, so this is giving me an alternate way to find the rank of a matrix, you know, something alternate to the last video. The rank of an M by N matrix A is going to be equal to the maximal order of a non-zero minor of A. Alright, so we're looking for these minors, right, these determinants of these square sub-matrices. The first, uh, the first, the largest one we come across that's not zero, that size, that order, um, that'll be the rank of the matrix. All right, again, it sounds maybe a little weird, but we'll get into some examples. So that's the rest of the video. All right, the rest of this video is me going over examples of matrices and you know asking you know f uh, being asked to find the rank of the matrix, you know the rank of A, using minors. All right. All right. So look at this um, matrix A here. This is already a square matrix, right? This is two by two. So the matrix itself is a sub-matrix. Um, here, here is the, the there's a, so there's a minor of order two here. Minor of order two, where I just don't remove any of the rows, I don't remove any of the columns, and I get a, a square matrix, right? So it's the determinant of the two by two matrix, zero, negative two, one, negative three and hopefully recall how to find the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix, right? You take this upper left times lower right, which is 0, then subtract negative 2 times 1, so 0 minus negative 2, that's positive 2, and this is non-zero, right? So this is a non-zero minor of order 2, right? Which is what we're looking for. And that's the largest possible order, right? I can't make a three by three submatrix or a four by four submatrix. Right? The largest order of a minor possible when you're looking at a two by two, right? The largest order of any minor 
is two, right? You can't because again, you can't you can't make a three by three out of this. You can't make a four by four out of this. Now you can make one by ones, right? If I remove this, you know, a row and a column, uh, you get a one by one matrix. But we can stop here, right? My largest order, order two, has a non-zero minor. So the largest order that has a non-zero minor is order two, and that's going to be the rank, right? So the largest order, or maximal order that they were, you know, I said on the previous page, right? The maximum or maximal order. Of a non zero minor, which this is. Is two. All right, we see order order two here. Uh, so the rank of this matrix is two, right? The rank of A is two. Meaning that A has two linearly independent columns, right? and linearly independent rows. So you can check the column vectors 0, 1, negative 2, negative 3, right? These are independent, right? There's only two of them, and they're not scalar multiples of each other, so they're definitely independent. So this is correct, right? All right, so that one was uh, pretty simple, a simple one to start like I usually like to do, right? Start with a simple example where we didn't have to go down to one by one, you know, submatrices because our two by twos had a non-zero minor a non-zero determinant. Great. Alright, the next example. Uh, two by th this is a two by three matrix. Two rows, three columns. So when I start, now this is not a square matrix, right? I can't take the determinant of a two by three. So we're going to break this up. We're going to you know, start start making these sub matrices. Now what's the largest sub matrix I could make if I have a two by three? Well you can't make a three by three. Right? You can't turn this into a three by three matrix. Uh, the largest sub matrix I could create is a two by two. Right? So the largest sub matrix would be a two by two. Another way to say that is the largest order minor, right? or or you could say the largest order of a minor is two. Okay. So let me show you the what the minors of order two look like. the minors of order two for this matrix. All right, now there's not just the one like last time. You know, last example, it was just a two by two matrix. So there was only one minor of order two. Here, you know, if I have a two by three matrix. In order to create a two by two matrix, sub matrix, I need to remove a column. So this is rows by columns. If I remove one column, then I'll have a two by two. So let's see, what if I remove the first column? All right, so this is removing the first column. So if I get rid of the first column, let me cover this up with a marker here. See, I get this two by two sub matrix with the rows two, four, and two, one. Taking that determinant. Um, now, what if I remove the, you know, again, I just need to remove one column to create a two by two. Uh, what if I remove the second column? All right, then here's another minor of order two. I get the, you know, these two columns, one, negative one, and four, one. There's another minor of order two, one, negative one, four, one. Taking that determinant. And finally, again, to, remake, to make a two by two submatrix, I remove one column, we'll remove the third column. And you get another two by two submatrix here with these columns, one, negative one, and two and two. All right, and let's find these determinants. Okay. Now, you could probably already tell me. Look at this. Remember, if, if, remember, it's very easy to tell uh, sometimes, sometimes, if the determinant of a matrix is zero or not. 
um, if one row is a multiple of another row, or if one column is a multiple of another column, then the determinant will be zero, scalar multiple. Um, you know, that's not really happening here, right? You know, you can't, these aren't scalar multiples, and these aren't scalar multiples, but you know, let's see. Uh, so it looks like this is non-zero, right? Uh, two times one is two, minus four, uh, two minus eight. 2 minus 8, that's negative 6, which is non-zero. So I, I could have stopped here. This is all we're looking for. We're looking for what's the largest order of a non-zero minor. Right, what's the largest order of a non-zero minor? And that's exactly what I have here. So I could have stopped and said that the rank of this matrix is 2 again. All right, so the largest order of a non-zero minor is 2. The rank of this matrix is two. All right, and you can double check by you know looking the other way, uh, the way we did last video, where I put this in row echelon form or reduced row echelon form, and you would see that there are two pivot columns. Right, so there are there are two independent columns here. In fact, it, it, you could say that this first column and third column are independent, or the second and third, right? But not the first and um, Yeah, yeah. Okay, but still, there should only be two independent columns here, and there's obviously only two independent rows, right? There's only two rows in the thing, so the rank is two. Looking at the others, right? And I know again, you could have stopped there, but I'm just gonna look at the other minors, other two by two, other other order two minors. Uh, this would be one plus four, right? One minus negative four. That's five again, non-zero. Great. So you gotta stop there. Uh, this one, you know, this would be 2 minus negative 2. Uh, before, that's again non-zero. So no matter what you look at, you got a non-zero minor of order 2, and that's the largest sub-matrix you could possibly make. Okay, so the rank of this matrix is going to definitely be 2. Right. Okay, um, now you could also have found, uh, again, I'm stopping here because that's the largest order of any non-zero minor. If you're like, well, what about minors of order one? Well, if I make, want to make a, you know, I want to make a one by one submatrix, that means I remove one row and two columns. So say I remove the first row and then the first two columns, you get uh, the you get the number one, the one by matrix one. Basically, each entry there are six. Each entry would make its own one by one matrix, you know, one by one minor minor of order one. But again, we don't need to go that far because we already found a minor of order two that's non-zero. All right, next example. All right, so here is a three by two matrix, right? Three rows, two columns. So again, looking at this, uh, this is you know this is not square, so I can't take the determinant of this matrix now, but. Um, you know, three by two. You can't make a three by three. The largest sub matrix you could make was a two, would be a two by two. Right, the largest sub matrix. That's a square, right? The, the the largest minor you could have would be of order two. The largest, I should say, square sub matrix. The largest square sub matrix would be a two by two. All right, so again, order, order two, the largest order uh, of the minors you can get are order two. Now, this is a three by two this time. So in order to create a two by two, I would need to remove a row, All right? I'd need to remove a row to make a two by two. So here are off to the side here, here are the minors of order two. All right, so first, say I remove the first row. All right, so let me black that out. Yeah, let's put a marker over it. I remove the first row. That gives me, I see a two by two sub matrix, and I'd be taking the determinant of that, negative two, negative five, and negative six, negative 15. And do you see how you know these rows are multiples of each other, right? You just multiply the top row by three to get the bottom row. This determinant zero. 
and you'd get you know 30 minus 30. So got to keep going, right? I can't, I can't. I'm looking for, I'm looking for non-zero minors, right? What's the largest order of a non-zero minor? All right, so that's a, that's creating a two by two matrix by removing the first row. How about I remove the second row? Right, if I do that, I get that submatrix. Take the determinant of you know the first that two five, negative six, negative fifteen, and again this is zero. All right, look, the first row times negative three would be the second row. These are multiples of each other, so the determinant zero. Or you do the cross thing is negative thirty minus negative thirty. All right, that's zero. So got to keep going. Remove the third row. Get another minor of order two, two five negative 2, negative 5, and this is again 0, right? The first row and second row are just, you know, you just multiply the first row by negative 1, you get the second row. Or same thing with the columns, you know. Multiply the first column by, you know, 5 halves and you get the second column. Either way, you're going to determine it as 0, negative 10 plus 10. Okay, so this tells me that the rank of this matrix is not 2. The rank of A is not 2 because I couldn't find, right, I couldn't find a minor of order 2 that was non-zero. Right. So then let's decrease the order. Right, so all these 2 by 2 matrices, minors of order 2, uh, uh, minors of order 2 were 0. Now we're going to make minors of order 1. So I'm making one by one, you know, th these are two by two sub-matrices. I'm making one by one sub-matrices here. Alright, so, you know, it's a three by two to start with. If I want to make a one by one, I need to remove two rows and one column. Remove two rows and one column. All right, so that's just each position, basically. Right, if I say I remove the second and third row, and then the second column. See, now I got just the matrix with the entry 2 in it. So the determinant of the matrix with just 2 in it, well, that would be 2, right, which is non-zero. And I'm done. Right? Again, the first time, you, uh, again, you start with the largest possible square sub-matrix you can make. Find determinants of those. Uh, and then you keep working your way down in size, and the first one you come across as non-zero, you're you're going to be you're finished. You'll you, you'll be finished. So the rank of this matrix, the rank of A is one. All right, it's that the the largest order of a non-zero minor. Now that none of the minors of order two were were non-zero, but they're I'm seeing right away all the minors of order one are non-zero, right? You remove these two these two rows in that column to give me two. Remove these two rows in the first column to give me five, right? You know, you get determinant of five is just five, which is again non-zero. You know, the determinant of negative two is negative two. Determinant of negative five is negative five, and so on. Now be careful, these are not absolute values. Uh, these are deter this is a determinant symbol. So when I say determinant of negative two is negative, you know, determinant of negative two is negative two. Again, this this is determinant symbol, not absolute value. Right, the determinant of the matrix, one by one matrix with the entry negative two in. But either way, I don't have to write all the rest of these. Okay, as soon as I come across one that's non-zero, I can stop and say. Hey, this, this this matrix has rank one, and again you could have also gone and uh, put this into reduced echelon form, right? And seen that there was only one pivot column or one pivot row, the rank is one. All right, and my final example, right, final example here. So I'm doing the same thing every time. Given the, now this matrix. I actually had in my last video uh, on identifying the rank. And we saw in the last video that the rank of this matrix was 2. OK, 
Okay, so hopefully I end up with the same thing using these miners. All right, so this is a three row, four column matrix, three by four. All right, so what's the largest order of a miner I can get out of this? Well, I can't make a four by four matrix here, but you know, basically just look for the smaller of these two numbers. Right, the smaller of these two numbers is three, so the largest square submatrix I can make is a three by three, or the largest order of a miner. The largest order of a miner is, you know, this again the smallest number, the the minimum M I N of the numbers three and four. So just three, right? So we're making three by three submatrices here to start. And if the three by three submatrices all have zero determinants, then we go down to two by two. And if all the two by two submatrices have zero determinants, then we go down to one by one, right, which is just the entries themselves. Um, and as I mentioned before, that we from the last video, the rank of this matrix is two, meaning that you're going to see all the determinants of the three by threes are going to be zero. Right, so let me put those up. So off to the side here, here are the miners of order three. So if I have a three by four matrix. So if I want to make a three by three, I need to remove one column. All right, so, so there's one where say I remove the first column. That would be, if I remove the first column, I have this three by three sub matrix right here. Negative four, four, five, six, negative six, negative four, negative four, four, nine. Now look, you could do the whole cofactor expansion thing or the, the other thing that you can do with three by threes where you copy the first two uh, columns again and then do the crosses minus the crosses and all that. And, um, there's lots of ways to find a determinant of a square uh, of a three by three matrix. Uh, but one thing you should notice, hopefully, is that the first column and second column are scalar multiples. I just multiply the first column by negative one, I'll get the second column. All right, so if you have if you have columns that are scalar multiples or rows that are scalar multiples, you don't have to go out and find the determinant the long way. The determinant will be zero. All right. All right. So that's after I remove the first row, got that submatrix. Um, what about you know again, just remove one row or I'm sorry, one column, first column. Remove the second column, and I get this three by three submatrix where the first row is you know two negative two four five. 3, negative 6, negative 4, and uh, negative 2, 4, 9. All right, and again, I, I picked this example for a reason because I didn't feel like doing I mean, again, you can do cofactor expansion here or the, you know, adding on the next, you know, put the first two columns again, do the crosses minus crosses, or or you could put it in, you know, uh, make uh, use operations to get it to be a, 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 di a triangular matrix and then you know, depending on what operations you use, you know, determine how that would affect the determinant. Um, whatever you do, the first again, the thing I'm noticing here is again the first two columns. If I took the first column and multiplied it by negative two, I'd get the second column. So the first two columns are again scalar multiples, meaning that the determinant of this three by three matrix is zero. So I got to keep going, right? I still haven't come across a non-zero minor. All right, then. Again, just remove one. Now that was removing the first column, removing the second column. How about I remove the third column? There's another three by three submatrix, right? With this negative two, negative four, five, uh, three, six, negative four, and negative two, negative four, nine. All right, and look, look at the first two columns again. If I took the first column and multiplied it by two, I'd get the second column. Scalar multiples. So it's definitely going to be a zero determinant. I don't have to do cofactor expansion or anything. And there's only one more. Right, I need to remove one. Uh, I've removed the first column, got that three by three sub matrix, second column, third column. Remove the fourth column, and you get this last of the three by three sub uh, sub matrices, the last minor of order three. Negative two, negative four, four, three, six, negative six, uh, 
negative 2, negative 4, 4. And look, I mean, the first row and the last row are the same thing. So it's definitely going to be a determinant of 0. So none of the minors of order 3 are non-zero, meaning that the rank of this matrix cannot be 3. So the rank of A cannot be 3. All right. I'm not done. Right? I want to know what the rank is. All right, so the rank of the matrix can't be 3. Let's check order 2 now. All right, that was the largest order for any minor I could create. Now let's look at the minors of order 2. Right, where I'm creating 2 by 2 submatrices. Alright, so this is a 3 by 4. If I want to make a 2 by 2, I need to remove one row and two columns. I need to remove one row and two columns. So say I remove the first row, right, get rid of the first row, and then the first two columns. Right. Then you create this 2 by 2 submatrix. So here's a minor. That's order 2 with negative 6, negative 4, and then 4, 9. Right. And what's the determinant of this matrix? Well, that's negative 54, then plus 16, mi you know, minus negative 16. Uh, negative 54, you know, plus 16 uh, would be negative 38. And that is not zero. And I can stop. Now you can find all sorts of other ones. Just again, remove one row and two columns. Any any one row and any pair of columns. And you'll create another two by two submatrix. Right. Uh, but we don't need to keep going. I have found my non-zero minor of order two. So the largest order that has a non-zero minor is order two, meaning that the rank of this matrix Uh, sorry, faint, 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 faint. So the rank of this matrix is 2. Right, again, the largest order of any non-zero minor. Wonderful. And uh, that's exactly what I had on the last video when I looked at this very same matrix, right, where we, we put it in r row echelon form or, or reduced row echelon form and just counted how many pivot columns there are, right, how many, you know, that would tell us how many linearly independent columns or linearly independent rows you have um, in this matrix, and there, there are two of them. Great. So, a well, little roundabout way of found, finding the rank, but still, you know, hopefully doable, you know, not, not, not too crazy looking. Now, obviously, the larger the size of the matrix gets, the harder it's going to be you know, to do this, do these minors, right? As, uh, finding determinants of larger and larger matrices isn't always the easiest thing, uh, unless you want to pop it in your calculator, find the, find the determinant through that through that method. But, um, but yeah, so you're so if you look at an m by n matrix, you know, just look at what's the smaller of the two numbers, m and n. That'll be the largest order that any of your minors can be, right? Uh, then you look at the minors of that largest order, see if any of those minors are non-zero. Uh, if they are, if one of them is non-zero, great, that's your rank. If not, just subtract one, you know, go go down an order and do it again. All right, look at all the minors of that next order below and see if you find any non-zero. And if you do, great. If not, you know, go down one more order. Just keep keep doing this until you find a minor that's not zero. And once you've done that, you, you've also then found the rank of the matrix, right? The number of linearly independent columns or linearly independent rows of that matrix. Wonderful. All right, so I hope you have fun practicing problems of this nature. And thank you very much for watching.